Hey, greetings from Baker City. We're here at the Bull Ridge Brew Pub to chat with Johnny, their chief brewer. Let's go, Phil. There's beer. The Pedal Power Talk Show is a talk show on a bike, and you're watching it now. So, how long have you been here at the Bull Ridge Brew Pub? I've actually been here about two and a half months now. Oh, wow. So, still fairly new. And the brewery is just a few years old as well. Yep, two years old, but we really just started brewing three or four months ago. This is a very young Pilsner. Um, it's still lagering. So, how long. often do you check this? I try to check it at least um, daily. Yeah. So. Got to do your taste testing, right? Well, I did the the fermentation program at Oregon State, and after that, I did a year of German brewers training, and then I worked with a large brewery there. And what's unique here about Bull Ridge? Um, we are in a historic building uh, with a new brewery system in it. We have a full-sized bull elk in our front door that greets <laughs> you whenever you walk in. He's got quite a colorful history. He was taken in 1972 in Wyoming and he had traveled all over the country to California and where we finally found him was in Montana. He was leaned up against a wall, he was in pretty poor condition. I was kind of wondering what I got myself into, but we went to the local Ace Hardware, got some saran wrap. Oh, and, really? Uh, yep, to preserve his hair, saran wrapped him and duct taped him and put him in the back of a pickup. <laughs> Everybody was driving by taking pictures and we were almost causing accidents. What's the best and worst part of the beer making process? The best part is seeing the finished product and how people enjoy it. The worst part is cleaning. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably 90% cleaning and 10% everything else. Yeah, so not so lot. glamorous. No, not as glamorous as everybody. There aren't little brewer dwarfs in there making their beer and laughing. It's uh, it's me with a mop and iodine spray and cleaning everything. <laughs> this is the Haymaker Hefeweizen. This one's for all of the farmers of Baker County and all the haymaking that they do during the summer. So it's a nice, refreshing Hefeweizen. Easy to drink. Yeah. Goes good with lemon. This one's for Blake. He's holding the bill. All right. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Are you ready for a question from the Askomatic? Uh, let's do it. All right. All you gotta do is turn the crank. If you had a sandwich named after you, what would be on the sandwich? <sighs> Definitely meatballs mm -hmm. would be a good place to start. Onions. <sighs> Some sort of cheese, Swiss cheese, yeah, or marinara sauce. That would be my sandwich. What beer would you pair with that sandwich? Ooh, I think I would pair it with a nice white tail pale ale. <laughs> Sounds delightful. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so yeah, much, Johnny. It's been you. a great yeah. chatting with yeah, you. Yeah, you too. I really enjoyed it. Thanks, Johnny. Now, if you want to subscribe to the Pedal Power Talk Show, and of course you do, because you don't want to miss an episode, just click on this wiener dog right here. Or if you want to watch more episodes right now, you can click on my finger. See, just that little finger. Also, uh, this is a good time to tell you, Keen Footwear is a sponsor of the show, so is Steven Smith Tea Maker. Go ahead, just, just click on one of these things, the dog or the finger. Go ahead.